guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this Thursday weekly video, week 31. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying these weeks. I cannot believe it's week 31 of Thursday weekly videos. Um, this week will be another week in a life of a person living with cerebral palsy where I tell you what I did this week and kind of give you future updates or present updates or what cool things I did this week. Um, I've been trying to push out content that you guys would like and the weekend in life updates are a winner I see on my channel. Um, so let's just do it today again for tomorrow. So I'm filming this on a Wednesday. I was kind of late and busy to film. Um, all this week for Thursday, but this is going up tomorrow at 7 a.m. sometime around there, Central Standard Time. Um, but yeah, I still wanted to video for you guys, so let's get rolling. So on Monday, you guys really know that I'm still in school so I do I did daily living tasks and then I kind of started school from 10 to 2 and then I did some more advocacy for my life coaching eras um, I had a meeting, a Zoom meeting with my life coaching partners or my life coaching friends um, that we will be doing daily announcements for surprise announcements for monthly meetings and talking about the stuff I talk about like confidence or finding your passion or, you know, the steps to goals and dreams. Um... Or, you know, so we were talking about that and how we can um, make more coaches community and more people coming in there to share their story. Um, so, yeah. Um, I kind of networking. That meeting was kind of networking and kind of opening up our voices to each other um on tuesday um i woke up i ate breakfast i still went to school um and then later in the day after dinner i ate some ice cream my mom gave me some incentive this week for me doing some good jobs. Um, sometimes she likes to give me my favorite drink, which is bubble tea. So that's incentives for me to keep going this week. So she gave me that, I drank that, and I thank her for keeping me going on a straight schedule, especially because School is going, getting down to the wire, so it's getting, um, busier, I, I mean, it's getting busier, but easier to kind of wrap my head around it, because I know it's getting down to the wire, and there's light at the end of the tunnel, I'm gonna graduate soon, so, actually very soon, in the next two, three months maybe four months, so it is actually very soon, um, so I'll be done with school, but graduation t is till, uh, until June, but I'll be done with classes, um, at March, uh, 21st, 2021, so I am excited, I am 
happy. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the three, two months and a half waiting for graduation to happen. But it is what it is. We'll figure out when the time comes. Um, basically, I'm going to work on my business and try to bring that more up and running and try to be in the public eye of life coaching era. So, yeah. Um, and maybe, maybe there will be another book. Um, if you don't know, I have a book called Brave Soul. Um, so I'm thinking to write another book on how this pandemic and how I'm feeling with all this mental health and, you know, how I see people um make us outlook on life now that we're our home and using technology and I have a lot to write about now um but yeah no you know we'll see um so Monday I did all of that I did some of my advocacy Tuesday I did school and um then watched tv with family and kind of chill with family, um, and today is Wednesday, um, I did school early, I started at 9.30, usually I go to 10 to 2, but I started at 9.30 to 12, because I had a back lift and pump, um, refill every four to three to four months, I get a refill for more medicine and so for my specificity if you don't know what a baclofen pump is I did a video kind of while back ago um calling calling it the treatments I take for my cerebral palsy um you know cerebral palsy is on a spectrum or on a scale um somebody can have it you know, milder, or somebody can have it more moderate, you know, or somebody can, you know, be more dependent, but I'm kind of in the moderate to the milder, because I can talk, I can move my hands, but there's, and my legs, but they're so weak, um, but I don't let that stop me, so... Um, so I had it today, and then unfortunately, tomorrow I have seating seating evaluation to try to fix the seating, because remember I talked about it in one of my videos, um, a couple weeks ago, maybe one or two weeks ago, I had a new seat made, but they kind of made messed up on the seat um for the wheelchair cushion or whatever so i'm making that tomorrow again so both my parents are gonna take me my dad's home nowadays so he always wants to go to help help me lift because there's a lot of lifting um things that we have to do um in getting a new seat getting out of the wheelchair so they can fix the seat and stuff so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow when this video is gonna go up um Friday I was thinking I had school then I had a phone call to make for Another backlift and pump refill and Botox injections uh, to schedule that for like sometime in February next year. Um, actually coming up soon here. Um, but yeah. And then this weekend, hopefully, uh, my family is up to it. Uh, I can go see my sister and go look at some beds. Um, 
you know, socially distanced. Um, uh, because my bed is kind of getting kind of old and kind of getting my pressure sores. Uh, because I only get turned once in, in the night. Um, because I cannot turn myself. Um, because it's hard and it takes a lot of work. It would take me all night to turn. Um, I wish I can do it so my parents don't have to turn me and don't have to wake up in the middle of the night to turn me to the other side. But, you know, it is what it is. I just be thankful for the ability I have and I wish I could be more independent in like turning and tossing, but I'm not. So we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna dwell on it. We're just gonna call for help. And, you know, my dad's graciously enough to wake up at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. or even 1 a.m. to help me, to turn me. Um, and to massage me, um, because I sleep, like, all night, and then on one side, and then I have, like, three, maybe sometimes two hours in the morning on the other side, depends on when I have to get up, so, yeah, it's, so, maybe Friday or Saturday, we're gonna look at, like, beds, or maybe I can just order it online and call it, I don't know, I really don't want to go out because of COVID, but I think I'm gonna have to, because it's, it's, um, paining me, and it's ruining my spasticity a lot more, um, so... And, you know, otherwise it's never going to be done if I don't go now. It's actually going to become more more worse. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and then the weekend, the Saturday and the Sunday, I want to get another car ride. And maybe, maybe not because my mom is not going to be feeling good this week. Um... Unfortunately, but, yeah. So that's my life right now, battling between doctor's appointments and schools this week. And staying locked in, staying safe. Um, not locked in, but staying safe and staying in the house. And watching TV, eating ice cream. Um, I was sick a couple weeks ago. So, I'm dealing with that, trying to be on medication, um, my acid reflux kind of came back, um, you know, I have a hard time digesting food, sometimes it comes up, and I feel like throwing up, and I feel dizzy and lightheaded and all that, but, yeah, I am doing good. Um, as of yet, I'm just tired today because we had a long day at the doctor's office. And we have a long day, three hour, four hour seating evaluation tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, but, yeah, it is what it is. But, yeah. How How's your guys' this week? What did you do? What did you explore? What did you come up with? What did you adapt? What did you... F- how did you feel? What did you feel? Um, I hope your week is good. My week is kind of busy, kind of not busy. In the middle. I wish it wasn't 
as cold as I, uh, I expected here where I live. But, you know, it's fall. What can we do? So, yeah. And I'm feeling orange today as I'm wearing red mixed of orange, uh, orange, red, you know. I'm feeling peachy love, I mean, peachy loved maybe. This is kind of a red, 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 light red, dark red mixture. So, yeah, I love what I'm wearing. I love this uh, jumpsuits, kind of, because they're so comfortable. They're like the two-piece jumpsuits, and I can just go to the doctor for them, or go shopping, or go somewhere that I needed to go without changing or without and I can fall asleep in there and I won't be too hot or too cold it's just the right temperatures um but yeah I sorry guys I um Wanted to say that it is okay to not be okay, but it is okay to be okay. And, you know, you are beautiful just the way you are. You are unique. We all have a unique life. And, as always, I'll be back next week for week, um, weekly blogs for Thursday week 20 week 32 happy week 31 guys this will be posted tomorrow um i hope you all had a great week and are going to have a great weekend um and a great rest of your weeks before thursday i'll see you sometime next week to be filming. Bye! Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys! And also, please look at the description box because there's some goodies out there. Um, but yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.